Hey guys, what's going on? Come and share with the Friday morning at 9 a.m. video. So before I get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. I'm really trying to get the 500 subs by the end of this month. So just one sub really helps. Much appreciated if you do so. Also smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That just, uh, both those things really just keep me going to making videos. So without further ado, let me get in this video. Today I'm talking about Virgin Galactic. Uh, ticker is SPCE. I haven't really talked about this stock much. It's been kind of quiet, to be honest. It, you know, not really any news has came out since uh, the test delays in, I believe it was February they got pushed back. So there was some hype building around it. The market was very bullish in January and early February. So everything looked good, things were going great. And then, you know, the test deadline got missed and then it got pushed back a couple months. So here we are now. So just one to circle back. Like I said, I haven't made a video on this one in a while. Do I still hold shares in this company? Yes. Have I recently bought shares in this company? No. So do I plan on selling this company? No. So. Some uh, highlights that kind of have been new news is ARK Invest. They're probably my favorite ETF personally. I, I, you know, I think Kathy Wood is a very good CEO. I really think she has her head on straight. She's got a great team under. Uh, you know, they've just been having a record year or year and a half with what they've bought and everything that obviously Tesla being a big, you know, reason for that. But still, there's a lot of great stocks there and I know they're in... Uh, I believe they're in PayPal. Uh, they're in a bunch of good stocks. Uh, Teladoc, I know they have. Uh, Peloton, they have. A bunch of uh, pharmaceutical stuff. So they just have some really good stocks in their portfolio. I believe they hold 55 positions in their main ETF. So uh, yeah, so they have uh, 41,000 shares. So this would bring it to their number 20th position of 55. So, you know, that's a pretty big position. If you have 55, it's on the upper half of what you have in your, uh, in your account. So, you know, that's, that's really cool. I mean, I think it gives, you know, if you're a, an individual shareholder of this company, it kind of gives you a confidence that maybe you're on to something. I mean, if other people are buying into the stock and, you know, hedge funds and stuff like that, like you kind of gives you uh you know, makes you feel good basically like okay maybe i'm not the only one thinking this so that's uh some really you know good news they keep adding shares uh the reason i think it's dropped so much i mean it's it's down like 50 percent from its highs i really think it's just due to disappointment i mean that's really the thing delays disappointment the last nine months have been really rocky for this uh stock i know back in like august september of 2020 they were saying that they were going to do the test flights then they got pushed back basically till I believe it was like November, December. They didn't really go successful. They had to do an emergency landing. It landed safely, but they didn't do its full, you know, route. And then they said they were going to redo in February. That missed. So now we're our test flights are still scheduled at May, hopefully. Uh, I haven't heard much news on this, honestly. If they're still, I believe they're still on track for May. I think they're doing it like the second or third week of May. That's the plan. That's where the test flight window starts. So I guess no news is good news because we're now in April. So we're only, you know, really a month and a half out and it hasn't changed since uh, the first one's been delayed. So that's good. Uh, I do also think the next test flights, I, I know they're going to get it right. They got to make it right. Uh, if, if something happens again that doesn't make it successful that's going to really make people run out of the stock that's why it's also a very low a low uh percentage of my portfolio i believe it's less than two percent of my portfolio so this is one of my you know it's a big risk big reward but as of right now it's uh yeah it's less than two percent of my portfolio but i do not plan on selling it no matter what if it were to go down a lot and something bad happened you know if it went down to the you know the teens area per share, I, I, I would probably, you know, buy some more shares, but uh, my cost base is really, really, really low. It's at 2116. I've been in this stock for almost a year. I, I mean, I think I bought it sometime over the summer. So uh, I've been in it for a long time, have an average cost up. It hasn't been that low since. I'm totally happy with my position. I'm not selling it no matter what. 
and uh, the current share as of close Thursday was thirty dollars and seventy five cents. So I'm, you know, I'm still up a decent amount, uh, but is it a uh, you know is it a bad time to buy right now? No, I mean I really don't. I mean if you want to get into a spac stock and, and and you want to get into the the space sector, this is probably the one I'd get into. It's a high risk, high reward. You know, you got to remember a couple months ago, people were buying at like $60, $65. So you're getting twice as a good deal as that person that bought at that, that price. So, uh, yeah, it's a great stock. I, you know, if it's something you want to get into, it's a very high risk, high reward. Like I just said, you know, $30 is a deal in my opinion. If the flights do go well, I, you know, I can see the stock going over $60, $70, like boom, like almost overnight. I could really see it shooting up like that. So, uh, you know, now's a good time to buy, in my opinion. Projections, I think leading up to the actual test flight date, once they have a black and white date on when they're gonna do it, obviously weather pending and all that, which happens every single time. But once they, you know, it gets closer to the May date where they say they're gonna announce the test flight and do it, I think this stock is gonna run a little just from the hype. So now is not a bad time to buy. I could see it getting to like the $35, $45 range before the flight. If it goes well, like I just said, 60 plus. If it goes bad, I could see it going down to 20s or under. But I'd probably average cost down because I think they'd retry it again. So end of the year cost, in my opinion, on this stock, if all goes well, I think it will be a hundred plus dollar stock. If things hit the fan, fail, this spring, they retest it in the fall and it goes well. I could see it being like anywhere from 45 to 60 a share. So best and worst case scenario, I think you're you're good buying now. I know Richard Branson said he wanted to go to space this year. He said he wanted to do it this summer. They're not moving too fast. I don't see that. I just think he wants to keep people, you know, I think he wants to stay relevant and give people, uh, you know, hope because to be honest, but the, what, like I said here, the disappointment delays the last nine months, there wasn't much good news per se. So I think he will go to space sometime in 2022, maybe in the winter of 2020, but uh, it's really sweet. So, I mean, I, I definitely like this stock still. I'm still really bullish on it. You just, kind of, it's kind of one of the stocks where you just gotta be patient. So that's all I got on this one. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, again, I'm trying to get the 500 subs by the end of April. If you just hit that button, the subscribe button, it's much appreciated. Peace.